guys, what's up? I'm Meg. I'm Eric. We're here at AVO. We've got an Audi Cab Kayak camper here on a Tacoma. And uh, we're gonna do a quick walk around video, show you guys why these campers are so awesome. Hey guys, so we just ended up wrapping up the Kaya and want to do a final walkthrough with everybody. Um, so you guys can kind of see, uh, especially for our customers that are looking at ordering a, um, a Kaya like this, kind of what these things look like now, how they're outfitted. Um, on, on this side compartment, um, we wrapped up some electrical work here. We did have to put in a Victron solar controller because the C-Tech can't handle uh, 180 watt solar panel um, that we had put on the roof of the of the uh, of the Kaya, so we ended up adding a solar controller um, that's um, that's going to work with the C Tech, and then we have the Noco uh, shore charger, shore power charger, and so we've got an outlet up on the top here uh, connected to the Noco, right? So when you're at camp or you're at the or at the house, for example, or this is being stored for the winter or when you're not using it. Um, you can use shore power to keep your batteries topped off or the or the house battery topped off inside the camper uh, And that's nice because you're not counting on always using the vehicle to charge or solar You can just get your batteries fully topped off uh, Before a big trip or especially if you got bad weather coming up on a big trip or You're not gonna be driving so much. That's a nice way to get started the right way We haven't filled the diesel tank yet um, For the heater because it's too hot right now for the di for the diesel heater to even come on um, so as it gets cooler in the fall, we'll we'll work with this a little bit more and maybe do a follow-up video on how this works. Uh, but this is all factory integrated, so it's all gonna be really smooth to use. There's a controller or a thermostat inside to turn this on and off. Uh, and and this, all, this whole system comes this way from Aluget. In this compartment here, we put the um, 10 pound propane tank in this compartment. Uh, we have another one in the rear, but that's just for outside cooking and for maybe putting out, putting on a gas fireplace outside, and whatnot. Uh, so we have our 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 propane tank here, and this runs the stove inside the Kaya camper. So um, you've got an, a little Dometic stove on the inside, and um, this is the gas for that. So this should last a really long time if you're you know using the stove inside for warming up pasta or tea or coffee or whatever it is you're using the inside stove for and then we also have the outside shower here too and so the way that this works is when we're ready to go ahead and use this for water we just turn the water pump on from the inside there's a little switch right by the sink inside um, and and where the stove is turn the water pump on from there and then we turn this little switch on in here so you can see that turn on that's the water heater the water heater on the Kaya can only be used when the car is running. So when you know you want to use some hot water to take a shower or run this over into the shower cube behind me, um, you just keep the vehicle running for about 20 minutes or maybe as you're pulling up to your campsite or on your way in, make sure to turn that on. 
and by the time you get in the water gets pretty hot with this system which is nice so you have electric water heater inside the camper that can only be used when the car is running it heats the water that way we've got our shower cube here as well um, this is perfect placement for where the shower is anyway you can run that over uh, of course you don't have to use this for just showers you can use this for getting dressed or putting a, a little bathroom in there for the family or for the kids on this vehicle um, we added a prinsu rack on top of the tacoma and you can see that there's actually plenty of clearance with the prinsu rack and where the table slide is on the kaya and um, that's pretty neat because we were able to use the front half of the prinsu rack to mount some max tracks for the customers um, so just gives them some some space up front they could have done that or or boxes whatever really using the front space on the prinsu rack um, on the vehicle side of things we added some rci sliders rci skid plates um, this does have an ome suspension system um, and lots of really great accessories from like arb worn i mean there's high lift jacks here lights from baja designs um, this has like front and rear air lockers now we re-geared it to 488s pitch mount lights so lots of lots of goodies on this but getting back to the camper this is your water fill you have a 25 gallon tank inside the camper so this is where you fill your water and you just stick the hose in there and um you know let it run for a few minutes and fill up that tank this is your table slide identical to what we use on the canopy campers and they have your wind deflector for the shadow awning in this compartment we just have some added storage and this is for the, these hoses are just tied into the filling up the water tank also your tie part of your internal tie down is in there as well for um, all this is internally mounted to the vehicle you're not going to see any external uh, tie downs or external turn buckles or anything you have to use with the kayas on your vehicle and then these right here are the jack brackets so the kaya has jack brackets that attach to just some universal camper jacks just like we'd have with any of our other slide-ins so i had to take this off when you get back from a big trip or when you're just wanting to use the truck as a pickup and then put this back in before the weekend before you go out for a vacation in here, this is the uh, standard outfit, which with what comes from Alucab uh, with these Kayas. Um, so you've got a lot of cool stuff from Alucab here and cooking gear. Um, you have utensils that come that come with the with the camper as well. And this little hatch compartment opens, and we can actually have access to the to the inside of the Kaya, or from the inside of the camper, you can access this compartment too if you needed to grab any of this as well. We also have a. Um, a side prep table that comes off of this side hatch too and then mounts into these little tracks right here uh, so that's cool again if you're set up here underneath the awning trying to set up like a quick dinner or make lunch or set down some drinks that would be a really nice place to do it and you have all your cups and pots and stuff right here that you you know if you need to cook or or to use on the side it's really accessible and convenient uh, when you're using this you have your light as well your national luna lights those are um dual mode lights so you have red and white uh, and then they're dimmable which is really cool on the back we added an expedition essentials uh, propane um, propane mount another 10 pound tank in the back and this would be great for cooking uh, a secondary tank as a backup a lot of times we have our little gas fireplace that we'll hook up here when we put the enclosed room on the shadow awning so that we can warm up that room in the in the colder months so this was just a nice add-on for the customers this is a drain uh, for the water tank and this is a drain right over here for the sink so if you're using the sink this is how you drain the water from the sink uh, which is right above this this compartment here and then we have some bags on this rear door this door is awesome how it opens and closes so a little different from a, very different from the canopy camper this actually opens up so you actually open the camper before you pop this door open um, this is the platform for the shower, which is cool. So this is what you could step on and set down uh, underneath the shower cube, which is cool. So that's that's part of this package as well. Um, and then of course you've got your rear swing out, which I'll close this so we can see our rear swing out. Um, and to close that, I'm just gonna move this over and then close down our swing out. And this was redesigned to fit larger, larger, heavier wheel and tire packages from the older models. So check it out. Here's the inside of the Kaya 2 sleeper. So we'll step up in here and you'll see we've got a National Luna fridge here on the passenger side. This is a dual zone model and, model and literally fits perfect 
in, in this camper. So it doesn't get any better than that right there. This is not a standard option um, or standard feature of the Kayas. This, is a, this was an option. Um, and here is our two burner stove and our sink. And this is how we turn on the water pump in the Kaya. And the water heater is in that outside compartment that we showed you a little bit ago too. These are the vents for the diesel heater. There's your National Luna battery indicator and your uh, thermostat and display for the diesel heater as well. Just like the Canopy Campers, we've got 12 volt uh, outlets and USBs on both sides. So we have them here and there. So when you lower the bed platform, you can still charge phones and devices. And then we'll lower this platform so you guys can see the bed. So nice big platform here, identical to Canopy Campers as well. You got your pockets and another light up top. And of course, lots of ventilation with these uh, side side windows that open up and big screens and then you would have your rain fly that deploys out towards the rear with another big screened area lots of storage the poles for that rear fly are right here in this compartment for now so this is your electric water heater um, that's already plumbed in and installed from the factory we do have a 25 gallon water tank on board as mentioned earlier and this can only be used when the uh, vehicles on so you got to keep the the truck on for the electric heater to work and then we have our AGM battery there again all the wiring is is uh, pre-installed from the fact that we just have to get a battery in there and connect it and then obviously make a connection from the Tacoma to the camper with an Anderson um, to get power back here when the vehicle is running and uh, in here we have um, our Anderson as well for the fridge to connect to so it has power so uh, we've got drawers in here and this is all from the factory this is a super nice setup ready to go when you get the camper so uh, yeah our customers looking for a really nice self-contained two sleeper camper this is as cool as it gets all right, guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, I appreciate every one of you guys. If you have any questions on the Kayas, the shell models, or the full camper models, let us know. Uh, we've got a great group of people here that can help you out. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.